I'm Ben Timmons with Technique Roofing Systems. Today, we're gonna to talk about some common issues with restaurants. So here we are on a restaurant roof, and one of the common issues is that other vendors come in, they don't know how to properly install things on the roof or don't have the proper materials. And what ends up happening is something like this, where there's a PVC stack through the roof, and instead of using a proper EPDM, car aisle, boot, they just use silicone and caulked around the base. Now, is it leaking? No, it's not leaking. But sometimes things like that void warranties. And then also, eventually it is going to leak because this isn't a proper way to fix something like that. It's not a proper way to install a new penetration. So one common problem is that having people on your roof that you don't know are installing penetrations and then also they don't know how to properly install them penetrations because they're either an HVAC contractor, they're a security cameras installer, they're a direct TV satellite dude, and they're not a commercial roofer. So this is one common problem with restaurant roofs. Another problem that we see commonly throughout all the restaurants that we've done is grease hoods. So why are grease hoods a problem? Number one, animal fats eat through roofing membrane. It doesn't matter what kind of membrane it is. Some are more resistant than others. This is Duralas. That's what we put on restaurants. Even other manufacturers would recommend Duralas on restaurants because some uh, systems like TPO really take a beating from animal fats. I've seen them fail after six years, seven, eight years. I mean, Duralas normally lasts longer, normally lasts longer when it comes to animal fats. So that's why they're a problem. But there's a side, like a side effect of the animal fats and of the roof being dirty and of good intentions. So what normally happens is when you have a dirty roof from the animal fats, this one's actually pretty clean, um, you, as you can see in the video, the company will hire a, another company imagine that, come out here and pressure wash the area and they'll clean it and they'll put cleaner down and they'll pressure wash. The company being Cavalier, putting whatever chemical they want on the roof, not knowing the manufacturer of the roof, what works with the roof, what chemicals you're allowed to use on the roof and what's approved by the manufacturer because It'll, it'll start to eat at that plasticizer if it's not an approved chemical. You can't just put anything on these roofs. The other reason is if they get too close and they cut the roof. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we have fixed a roof from a pressure wash. So that is a big issue when it comes to grease hoods. So another problem that you're gonna see with restaurant roofs is things like this, right? What I would say the main cause of this door being open when we came up here is the remodel. So these doors get remodeled and just because they're getting remodeled, a lot of times they don't get a new roof. But a lot of times there's a lot of damage or some damage on the roof that is from the remodel. Because it's just, it's inevitable. You're gonna be dropping stuff. I mean, it's hard to not cause damage. So it's always good to not just assume your roof failed after remodel, but give your roofer a call, let them know, hey, could you come out, take a look at the, the store, just do an inspection, you know, hands and knees inspection, we like to call it, fix anything you find. And that's always a really good way to, as a last punchless item for your remodel to make sure that there's no damage done. And just because there's some damage done doesn't mean it'll show its face right away. It might take a year. It might take six months. Maybe it don't rain real hard and get up on the parapet wall, the water level, to leak into where they were stepping when they were putting on this cap metal. So it takes a little bit to show its face sometimes. So just have your roofer come out when the remodel's done and take a look at it. See if anything's there. Work with your roofer. Another issue that we see with restaurant roofs is debris on the roof. Now, since these are high traffic roofs and a lot of things going on, a lot of equipment up here, 
there's always a lot of debris on, this, on, on the roofs, unless you are proactive about it. A lot of people don't pack in and pack out. And what that means is they take all the, their stuff that they bring and they take it with you. So as you can see, on this specific roof we're on, there's screws from the HVAC contractor, and then you have some gas lines here. So long story short, why is this a bad idea to have this up here? Main one is it's a trip hazard. People could trip on it. And the other one is if you have snow in your area and it snows on the roof and they don't know it's there, well, you could trip on it then. And then also you could step on a screw in the snow, cause a leak, not know about it, which could cause further damage to your property. So that's a good reason why to have your roofing contractor, have your facility guys, or have somebody come clean these roofs off once a year, once every other year, whatever works with your budget so you don't have issues like that. So that's another problem we see with commercial restaurant roofs. Another issue we see with restaurant roofs is safety features. So a lot of times a ladder dock, there's a company called Ladder Dock, they make this um, ladder dock and it just is a safe way for your HVAC technicians, your maintenance technicians, your roofers to access the roof because it holds the ladder in place. Or if you have a fixed ladder in your building, that's a good safe way to access the, the roof. But sometimes you'll th see items like this where they try to make something to access the roof, but by doing that, they have created water infiltration spots because they ran screws through the membrane and didn't properly seal them. Know what, you're, what product you're using and how it works with the products on your roof. And on that same note, we have these concrete blocks here. And you, know, you wouldn't think much of what's going on here, but they use them as a step because they have their ladder that comes over the wall here and then they step down onto these, these blocks. And it, the blocks don't affect the membrane necessarily, but what they do affect is your liability when people access your restaurant. They affect the roof membrane if you know it goes off balance and the corner of this block hits your membrane, it very likely will cause damage. This is just not a safe way to go up and down a roof. So that's why we always recommend to our customers to put a a small aluminum ladder, just two, three rungs, something that will come up here and have, you know, check all the boxes of the OSHA safety requirements. But something that's cost effective and that limits liability and that helps access the roof. That's what we're looking for. This is functional, works. You know, I'm a young guy, I can jump up and down in these things all day. But when it comes to liability, safety, we like to do things a little different. So the theme of our approach when it comes to restaurants in particular, because they're so detail oriented, is making sure the dollars we're given from the customer are paying dividends in the latter years of the roof's life. And how we do that is as you can see, we come up on this building, we measure it be well before we even start it, especially now with materials how they are, and we write down what we're using here, how we want the guys to do it here. We're planning, we're planning, we're planning, we're explaining, we're communicating all the way down to the installers how they need to do this, how we want them to do this, and making sure it's done in a way that's tailored to your building. And it's not just a Walmart big box store roofing company. We are a tailored roofing company and restaurants require tailored roofing because if you don't do it that way, you'll see how not planning for very specific niche, unique items pans out, which is it just doesn't last as long. So thanks again and have a good day.